this is coming off. And what's that called? The headstock. Headstock. Right. And a new modern pattern is going on. So the weight, instead of being over the top, will be down lower to the centre of the pivot, um, which makes them a lot easier to ring. Because these are the only two bells with these old bits, the cannons on. These are the two oldest bells the in two the tower. Right. So yeah, yeah, that yeah. leaves the cannons intact. That actually makes the bells a lot easier to ring. So is this a big job? Or? Uh, fairly big, because the bells are big. Well, the bearings have been there since 1930, odd without being looked at. Yeah. So we're overhauling the bearings. These, these are the bearings here, is that? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. But the other thing is, isn't it, that they're being rung on the same spot all the time, so they're all being turned, is that right? That's right. Yes. If you have strikes there, and you, if you put your hand in there, you can actually feel that. It's a dent. So it's a dent yeah. so so it's on, on the inside. So right. they'll turn to a new. So they'll strike there. Ah, okay. The okay. I loved being a bell ringer and I was a bell ringer, I'm guessing 20 years, about 20 years, and then had to, had to stop. Um, but I liked the sense of history and the fact that I was only one in a long line of people who'd handled that bell. Mm. That continuity it is, isn't it? it's so it nice. Is, yeah. Yeah. And I always remember that when, if you were sitting out at ringing, i.e. you weren't ringing, and you sat down with your back to the tower, it moves. Mm. It, move, it has to move, doesn't yes, it? Oh, yes, yes, because yeah. of the yeah. weight of the bell. It really rocks. Yes. Yes. Mm. So yeah. you're sitting with your back against the church, <laughs> it's swaying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. And how do you feel about being able to see it this close, get, get so close well, to I them? I think it's wonderful. Yeah. I think it's wonderful because you've no idea what it, you know, you're, you're below, you don't see it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So were you born in Chumagno? Do you live in Chumagno? Yeah. Tell, tell me a little bit of your history in the village oh, and your your family obviously lived here for a while. Uh, yes, yes. My grandfather was a gardener at the rookery and uh, then uh, mum and dad got married and lived down in the rookery lodge and that was where I was born. Lovely. So. And your grandfather was a bell ringer? Yes. So tell me about him, what do you know about him? Well, he was a lovely man yeah. and uh, well, it was, you know, it was always gardening and he just loved the bells. <laughs> and what was his name? Albert Brown. So that's where we come to have ah. a look at the Bilby Bell. Right, right. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, okay. I hope you'll get a good look at them. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> Those big bells in. Loved them, didn't you? Well, some, some's English. Oh, Bilby. Bilby's featured. Bilby made it. My trouble. Oh, yes. Bilby featured. Yeah. My trouble voice. Now that's English, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It is mainly English, actually. Little girl. 
You've got a relationship with these bells a bit, no, haven't you? With the hillbillies, it was my husband. He wrote a book about the bells. Mm. Hillbillies. You used to live in Chew Stoke, isn't That's it? That's right. <laughs> and now you're in Chew Magna. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a bit of history in these bells. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So was your husband a bell ringer? No, he wasn't. No, yeah. no he was always interested in the bellbills because they were in Chew Stoke. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. They're yeah. very famous. Yeah. And they're they're still going strong. They are. <laughs> Amazing.